How's it going, people? Doing fucking great. Thought I'd have a, a double take. And uh, it's a it's a head snapper. <laughs> yeah, time for a snap ahead. Well, it's been a really hot day in uh, Capital City here, and I've been finding lots of uh, wonderful reading material laying all over the ground <laughs> near where I work. Uh, as the weather gets better, you find more uh, fun stuff like like that. Yeah. Right. Oh, here's a good one. Um, personality test. It's free, at least initially. Yeah. Find answers. Gain uh, gain certainty. Sounds like faith. Um, achieve goals, because everybody has a goal of joining a brainwashing cult. Um, anyhow. Church of Science. And, oh, let's see. I like this one. It's Uncle Sam. I haven't read this yet, but, uh, yeah, Uncle Sam wants you. He's doing a Bono. <laughs> God bless America. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Let's see. All right. Author Studs Terkel once said that he would like to interview God on why there is so much misery, so much horror. I think I'd take that a little further. I'd want to ask him about Balaam arguing with his donkey. <sighs> and why did he let the damn snake in the garden in the first place? I had an interesting conversation with um, Venom Fang X about that. I think I'll do a video about him, but not now. It's not that interesting. Um, that's not necessary to interview God. We can be guided through the night with the light from above. <sighs> by God's word, as to what brings misery to a nation, <coughs> if we will listen. I'm listening. <sighs> Pray tell. Okay. God's blessings are dependent on righteousness. So if things go wrong, it's because Someone's fucking it up. And now those gays are getting married again. So, that's it. You know, there's going to be a tsunami somewhere now. Or a salami, or I don't know. Uh, tornadoes. Wait, that happened before it, the gay marriage. Well, that's because God is psychic. He knew this was going to happen, so he sent some tornadoes. Anyway. Okay. Uh Should God bless America? Darth Vader's busy, so why not? <laughs> you be the judge. I thought we're not supposed to judge. Um, adultery. 50 to 60 percent of married couples admit to adultery, and most of them are religious. Christians, even. Uh, fornication. Forty-five million are infected with the virus that causes genital herpes. Pornography. Six hundred and sixty-five million porn videos are rented, were rented back in 1996. Just one more and it would have been that magic number. 
I must have been, I don't know, I think I had it, I think I had to work an extra day that, you know, back in that year. Um, abortion. Over one million children are murdered through abortion each year. Or at least fetuses or blastuses, you know, two cells stuck together, some, you know. Think about all the sperm that have been, you know, uh, jacked off on walls. I mean, that's a damn apocalypse, for God's sake. I mean, that's a, you know, a holocaust. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, killing children. All right. Um, greed. We visit casinos more often than professional sporting events. And I'm sure God's invoked. Come on, God, just let me win this one. And again, God's on all sporting team. <laughs> He's on the side of every sporting team muscle. All right, uh, murder. Approximately 200,000 murders during the 1990s. <sighs> Do you think we deserve God's blessing? I thought this was like an, on an individual basis, so just a few bad apples, huh? Because, <sighs> I mean, look at all the people that, people that weren't murdering anybody, you know? <sighs> but the fact that some people were is bad enough. I mean, most of you people probably aren't having abortions right now. So we better stop the ones that are, because they're fucking it up. Okay. <sighs> Have you ever lied or stolen? No. Oh, wait, I just lied, sorry. But I haven't stolen anything in like a long, long time. I don't do that. I hate thieves. But, I mean, I remember like in the eighth grade, uh, I saw these really cool looking tomatoes. They were all long and, you know, carrot shaped, and I stole them out of this garden and I. And I tried to eat one, and they were uh, cayenne peppers, so. But I did steal it. And boy, I'll tell you, you can't put that fire out. <sighs> All right. Um, <sighs> Jesus said, Whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. So all you ladies are off the hook unless you uh, like girls too. And uh, I can understand. So, I mean, only guys can be guilty of this, I guess. You know, guys and lesbians. Yeah. And what about gay dudes, you know, that look at a guy with lust in his heart? doesn't mention. Of course, they got other polemics against them, I guess. All right. Um, God, you know, I've heard all this shit before. All right. Um, ever looked with lust? Practically every day. <laughs> but that's only because I can't control how I think. I can only control how I act. <laughs> it's acting out that should be the problem, not thinking thoughts, because you can't always talk about Thought crimes. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh. Um, if you said yes to these three, these three, th these three questions, by your own admission, you are a lying, thieving adulterer at heart. You know, I don't tell too many lies because um, I'm too lazy to lie. And it's easier to tell the truth and save those lies when you really need to pull your bacon out of the fire. I mean, I will tell a lie, but I think it's a bad habit. I don't steal from people because I don't like it when people steal from me. And I don't feel good about myself if I do a thing like that. As far as looking at women, I mean, come on, you've got to leave something for me. <laughs> All right, I'm guilty of thought crimes. All right.
Besides, I think they want me to look, or at least some of them do. It's disrespectful not to. Unless you're making a, you know, you know, raping them with your eyes, you know, or something. I mean, some guys are creepy about it. I'm not. I look at everything that's nice, you know. I love rainbows and mountains and and seascapes and all kinds of pretty things. And women. Okay. All right. Will you be innocent or guilty on Judgment Day? Will anybody? <laughs> Listen to your conscience. I do. I really do. You know that you will be guilty and end up in hell. That's not God's will. No? It's just how he set everything up. Okay, but, you know, he didn't really want that. He reminds me of one of those bullies that grabs a little kid by the wrist and is like, Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I don't want you to hit yourself. You're hitting yourself. He didn't want that. All right. Uh, you know that you will be guilty and end up in hell. That's not God's will. He provided an escape. He sent his son to take your punishment. And that makes a lot of sense. Because the scapegoat will do it just as well as you could. You know, you do some bad things and someone else takes the fall. It sounds wonderful, especially if the guy is already dead. Yeah. I mean, you can't hurt him anymore, right? All right. God commanded his love towards us. He was bruised for our iniquities. Jesus then rose from the dead and defeated death. This is all some tired old shit here. They just keep repackaging the same message. All right. Pray something like this. We got a sample prayer. Dear God, I repent of all sin, including that one that Adam and Eve did. <laughs> That's the one that really got us in Dutch. Um, I put my trust in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me and grant me your gift of everlasting life in Never Never Land. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And that's end quote, so there's your sample prayer, in case you can't think of one of your own. Then read the Bible daily and obey what you read. See John 1421. God will never let you down. I got a suggestion. Yeah, read your Bible every day. Start from page one and keep going. That's the way I did it. Of course, we'll have more atheists if they do that. Yeah, start from page one and read until you're done. Took me about a summer the first time. Anyway, that was nice design. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And maybe I'll do another one. Another intelligence test. Oh, personality test. World War II intelligence test. As you can see, I got all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, wait, I got even an even better one. All right. Stay tuned. Bye.